हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल जियोलॉजिकल नॉलेज सो एज यू वुड हैव सीन दैट यू पी एस सी हेज़ डिक्लेयर द रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन रिजल्ट ऑफ असिस्टेंट जियोलॉजिस्ट एग्जाम टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड नाउ इंटरव्यू हैज़ टू बी हेल्ड वेरी शून एंड दो इट्स नॉट ऑथेंटिक आई एम प्रडिक्टिंग दैट दैट इंटरव्यू मे हेल्ड इन द मंथ ऑफ March and April 2019, because in the month of January last and February there is interview of Forest Services examination and Civil Services examination. So most probably your interviews will held in month of March and April 19. So before that we will have an full knowledge of about the interview. So firstly I will like to tell about the panel. basically there are four to five panelists in your interview and out of those four and five panelists one will be chair person which will be from non geological background most of the time he is civil service civil servant means ias officer or he may be from any field he may be from medicine field from defense field from engineering field from Uh, environmental field basically he will not from your field okay he will be from non geological field and remaining three or four panelists will be the experts of your field means geology they will ask questions pertaining to your geological knowledge so firstly we will talk about the chair person so the main aim of the chair person is to make you calm make you calm and make you feel better composed during the interview he starts proceedings of your interview with the basic questions about your personal details about your uh, leisure time you have spent in the uh, waiting room in the upsc interview hall so he will ask he or she will ask the questions related to your personal details means your name about your name your address the district or state from where you belong so the questions from your personal details will be asked only if there is something special about you if you have any special thing in your name suppose your name resel uh, resembles to someone who is very famous personality suppose your name is narendra verma narendra soni any of the name can be so and that name resembles to our prime minister so for example i am taking it only for the example so he will be keen to know about the meaning of your name your significance the significance of your name so this is the and from your address point of view if anything specific is there in your address if your uh, address is famous for any Uh, cultural significance for educational significance for any other significance only then they will go deep for your address point of view and about your district or state or district so same thing applies here also either geological significance or any specific importance only then they will ask about district or state and uh, this is number 2 point hobby and extracurricular activities related questions this is the important topic where they want you to answer the questions okay he will ask questions from your hobbies during the filling of your form examination form you would have filled hobby and extra curricular activities so most of the time they don't ask questions from hobby but uh, if you have written any specific hobby then they will ask questions because of curiosity they will be curious to know what is specific about this hobby suppose you have written only um, cricket and you cooking only singing or uh, only reading so th this this type of hobbies will not create any type of curiosity in them 
सो चांसेस आर वेरी लो और वेरी लेस चांसेस दैट क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क बट इफ यू हैव रिटर्न एनी स्पेसिफिक हॉबी सपोज यू हैव रिटर्न लाइक सिंगिंग बॉलीवुड सॉन्ग्स आर रीडिंग नॉवेल्स रीडिंग स्पेसिफिक आर कंटेम्प्रेरी नॉवेल्स आर कुकिंग समथिंग स्पेशल कुकिंग चाइनीज डिशेज कुकिंग नदर नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न डिशेज कुकिंग नदर्न डिशेज सो दिस विल क्रिएट क्यूरियोसिटी इन दम एंड by the curiosity they will ask questions about you so if you are comfortable with your hobby and extracurricular activities that can additional that can create additional advantages okay so if you have whatever hobby you have written just prepare accordingly because questions may be asked from this part so this is all about the chairperson now chairperson will handle you to the experts and uh, he will ask means experts will ask question from your core geology means for geological knowledge okay the questions will be asked from your dissertation this is one of the most important topic of your interview as i have written more than 70 to 80% interview will be from this area so this is a very important topic means your dissertation work your phd or thesis work or your field work as you all have done field work in your msc classes or during the pursuing of msc degree you would have done at least two field works so you have to prepare your both field works very strongly they will ask questions detailed questions from this part if you have done phd also so they will focus more on the phd because that's the additional degree or if you are pursuing phd degree questions will be from this dissertation they they will ask question about your dissertation area the work you have done um, the um, reports you have created the uh, so all these questions from your dissertation area <coughs> so from the field work area they want to know about me main, is mainly about the stratigraphy of the area structural features you have seen in the area lithology of the area so when we talk about stratigraphy he can ask he or she ask about the formation any specific group or formation you have worked in the lithology of that area age of the uh, fossils if you have reported any fossils any economic deposit any rock sample means structural features about the sample so and uh, if there has any specific significance about the samples you have seen so they will ask questions pertaining your field work and uh, you will have to prepare this part very seriously because most of the questions will be asked from this part okay and uh, next one is fourth one is subject or geology questions so apart from this dissertation thesis and field work area they will ask questions from the basic geology basic geology means what you have studied under graduate undergraduate classes and uh, uh, questions will be from that area also and for the basic geology purpose i will recommend you or will strongly suggest you to go for km banger book you can go for km banger book ya amal das gupta book or mahapatra book or savindra singh book any of the miscellaneous geology book you have studied in undergraduate classes you can go for the basic geology basic geology means the definitions okay definition of any of the geological branches suppose they can ask the definition of any fold any fault any texture any structure any particular rock that what is phyllite what is schist what is sandstone what is limestone what is the um, composition of any of the rock the texture of particular rock section or the optical significance or optical properties of any of the rock so if anything is special about any rock he will ask you he or she will ask you and uh, apart from the definition they will ask uh, some is suppose that if they are asking about the stratigraphy if they are if the questions are being asked from the stratigraphy their more focus will be on the age the rock 
sections means lithology of the area or lithology of that supergroup suppose that in stratigraphy if they are asking about gondwana supergroup or kadappa supergroup so their main, main main focus will be on its economic significance the economic material economic minerals you report you will report from the kadappa supergroup about its width or its thickness its age and its any specific if there is any specific um, fossil suppose that we have a very specific fossil in kadappa supergroup stromatolites basically they are not complete fossils but they are organic sedimentary structures so th this is special about kadappa supergroup so they will ask questions related to spe specific about any of the group okay and uh, you have economic and mineralogical significance stratigraphy of your area significance of geological subjects yes this is very important topic related to your significance of geological topics uh, what they want from your side when they ask about the significance suppose if they are asking a question that what is the significance of paleontological studies in geology or suppose you have done field work in kutch area or you have done field work in uh, any of the area in kashmir suppose you have done in the kashmir area so what is the significance of paleontological sources paleontological studies in your field work so as you know that kutch area is very famous for the ammonoid fossils and other vertebrate invertebrate fossils so that will be the paleontological significance of your research area or field work area so if they ask any particular question about the significance that for example tell the significance of sedimentology in geological studies so the motto behind this question is to uh, analyze your analytical capabilities that how easily you analyze something and what is your perception behind any particular particular object particular thing so this is the motto behind this question so it will be good for you to go for the significance of the structural suppose that what is the significance of structural studies structural geology in your research area in your geological studies they can ask any of the significance of branches in geological studies so you will have to prepare accordingly and this number fifth about your future perspective or planning towards gsi probably this question will be asked by the chairperson i should have written it in uh, number 3 but sorry for that but chairperson wants to know that how detailed knowledge you have about the organization or about the department you are going to serve for so keen as a keen person he will like to know about the history means when gsi was established who was the first director general what are the works or functions of geology geological survey of india okay and its official locations headquarters so he can ask questions about the gsi and about the future perspective that what is your future propaganda as for the organization what will you do in the gsi what your what are your planning for the gsi when you will come for the service what will be your emphasis areas where you will like to work so all these questions will be asked by the chairperson not only chairperson your experts can also ask about it but most of the time chairperson ask about the question related to planning and perspective towards gsi so this is in a nutshell this is all they want to know about you and from you so the basic funda behind the uh, interview is that uh, it's a personality test rather than interview test as you have seen or you have been knowing that in geo scientist examination its name is personality test rather than interview test their more focus is to decipher your personality 
आर यू सूटेड फॉर द जॉब आर यू कैपेबल इनफ टू ऑब्जॉर्ब द प्रेशर कैन यू वर्क इन द प्रेशर सिचुएशन हाउ इजली यू डिटेक्ट द प्रॉब्लम हाउ इजली यू एनालाइज अ पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम हाउ यू रेस्पॉन्ड टू सम any serious suppose that if you met in any accident in your field work how will you respond to that problem as you are going to an officer it's highly you know expected from you to be in behave like an officer so they actually they want to know about your personal behavior your personality rather than your knowledge as knowledge has already been checked or you they have already checked your knowledge in the written examination so their basic um, curiosity is to know about your personality so most of the questions they may seem to you that they are the knowledge based questions or q question and answer session but basically their approach is to uh, justify or check your personality that suppose they are asking questions suppose when someone has asked five questions and you have not or suppose by bad luck you have not been in condition to answer two three straight question out of those five questions most of the time you will go you will panic for suppose you will panic that i have not answered three questions but that's not the case that will not decide the fate of your uh, interview what they need from you is to be calm composed and cool even if you are not answering the questions that will show the pressure absorbing capacity they will decipher from this that you have not panicked and you have focused for another questions you have been we have been asked so this is the goal behind the personality test and don't panic if you have not answered two three straight questions and better will be to Um, focus on the next questions you can answer other questions also so this is the all for the interview and uh, if i talk about myself i have given interview in 2016 geologist examination and assistant examination both and recently in 2019 i have means in 2018 geoscientist examination i have given interview which has held in january 19 so i am talking about my personal uh, personal interviews because uh, if i will discuss the questions asked from me in the interview that will tell you that will rectify that will refer the depth of the knowledge the nature of the questions they will ask and uh, the type of questions being asked in the interview most of the questions are knowledge based question from your basic geology and uh, so i will discuss it one by one my interviews so better will be you start your preparation for the interview and we will meet in the next video till then goodbye thank you